Hi guys, it's me Kelly McGassy and today we're doing the 40 beauty questions tag. So guys, today we're doing the 40 beauty questions tag and I was tagged to do this a while ago. Let's see, I was tagged in March to do this. Guys, I'm behind. Anyways, I was tagged by Nicole Fisher. I'll have her channel linked down below so you guys can go check it out. But I'm sorry this took me so long, Nicole. I meant to do it like a hundred times and it never made it on film. So we're gonna do it today. Before we get started on that, if you don't know me, hi, my name is Cassie, it's nice to meet you, and I would love for us to be friends on the internet. How you can do that is by scrolling down and hitting that red subscribe button down below. And if you have not yet entered my giveaway going on on my channel, I'm having a huge 5,000 subscriber giveaway. It has one grand prize, and then for every 500 subscribers I get above 5,000, there will be a second prize winner. Currently, I'm at 6,000 subscribers, so that means there's at least two second place winners at this point. So if you want to enter that giveaway, I'll have it linked up here and also in the description box down below. So go check it out. Without further ado, let's jump right into this tag video. So guys, today I'm going to be tagging three channels to do this tag video. You should go check them all out. They're all great people and I love their channels. The first is Everyday Starlet. The second is Cosmetic Chaos, and the third is Modesty Jean. I will have all of their channels linked in the description box down below, so make sure you go check all of them out. Okay, I'm just gonna try to blow through these as quickly as humanly possible. I have not read any of these yet, so you're gonna get my ultimate first reactions to these questions. Actually, it'll be my second reactions because I did watch Nicole's video like a while ago, but I haven't seen it in a while. So I'm just reading the questions now, and it's like my second first reactions, if that makes sense. Okay, here we go. Question one. How many times a day do you wash your face? Once. That's probably bad. The second question. What type of skin do you have? I have combo skin. It used to be a little bit more oily, but parts of it are drying out now, and it's just like in this weird flux. What is your current facial wash? Honestly, right now it's shampoo because I usually wash my face in the shower and I ran out of facial wash. So I've been washing my face with shampoo for like the last week. I'm sorry, I'm weird. Number four, do you exfoliate? Yes, I try to exfoliate once a week. I don't exfoliate every day because that's bad for your skin, but once a week is about the right timing to get all the dead schluff off your face. Number five, what brand do you use to exfoliate? I really like St. Ives Apricot Scrub, but I've been using Dr. Brandt lately because I got into my BoxyCharm and it's really expensive. Uh, but I intend to go back to St. Ives Apricot Scrub, 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 Scrub after I'm done with the Dr. Brandt stuff because the Dr. Brandt stuff is like 80 bucks. And I'm not spending that on a facial scrub. What moisturizer do, do you use? It's like a, a Neutrogena Clean and Clear moisturizer right now. Nothing fancy, but very cheap. Do you have freckles? It depends on how you define freckles. I don't have like the Raggedy Ann type freckles where they're all across your nose, um, but I've got a couple little frecklies right there and like some smaller freckles right here. They're mostly like moles, beauty spots. I have small beauty spots slash moles on my face and all over like the rest of my body, like everywhere. So I'm just, I'm very dotted, but they're not freckles, I don't think. Do you use eye cream? Yes, as often as humanly possible. I am starting to get like a little bit of crepey eye on my inner corners and I don't like it. So I'm like smothering my eyeballs in eye cream. Sounds effective, right? Do you or did you have acne prone skin? I mean, I was a teenager, so yes. I get like little, little breakouts, but nothing too bad, nothing that, you know, I'm sure a lot of people had it worse than me as far as breakouts. Now that I'm an adult, it totally hasn't gone away. I get occasional breakouts kind of around my chin, around my nose, or on my forehead, but generally my skin stays all right. Did you ever have to use proactive? That's a weird question to be on a tag. Like proactive is the ultimate acne cleansing thing. I did, I used it for like a month. I don't, I wouldn't say I had to use it, but I did use it for like a month. And then we stopped getting it, I think because it was expensive. Now we're into the makeup questions. Number 11, what foundation do you use? 
I use all the foundations, you guys. I mean, if you've seen my channel, you know I have like a bajillion videos on first impressions of foundations. Currently, here's one. It's Clinique. Here's one. It's Lancome. I don't want to find more right now, but I have a lot more. Trust me. Next. How about concealer? Currently, I am using the Tarte Shape Tape. Concealers, I usually go through one at a time just because it's a small container and I feel like I have to use it all up before I get a different one. And that's probably not logical, but that's what I do. Do you know your undertone color? Well, for one, you don't have an undertone color. You just have an undertone. It's not like I couldn't do blue. I can't have an undertone of blue. But typically, I'm a pretty neutral skin tone. I have a little bit of warmth in my skin, but I also have a little bit of peachy going on. But, I mean, if you're judging by my hair and my eyes, you would say I have cool skin. But whenever I wear a cool skin foundation, it's too pink for me. So I would say I'm neutral. What do you think of false lashes? I think they're fine. They annoy me, so I don't wear them very often. Did you know you're supposed to change your mascara every three months? Yes, I knew that. Do I do that all the time? No but I should. What brand of mascara do you use? Again, all the mascaras. The one that I have on right now is the Last Sensational, courtesy of Everyday Starlet recommended this. So I got it and I'm wearing it. But I have like a bajillion mascaras as well. Sephora or MAC? Sephora because there's more variety. What makeup tools do you use in makeup application? I feel like this is not fair. I use all the things. Okay, so first thing, Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Next thing, Morphe Buffing Brush. Next thing, Elf Blending Stipple Brush thing. Next, Big Morphe Powder Brush. Also, Little Blending Brush. Also, Little Crease Brush. Two hours later. Also, Highlight Brush. And I'm sure there's more. But that's just what I have in the table right over here by me. So, yeah, I use a lot of tools in makeup application. This is a full-time job. I'm so obnoxious today, you guys. I'm sorry. Do you use a makeup base primer for the eyes? Yes, I do. It is always either a concealer or a actual eyeshadow primer, but I always use something. Do you use a makeup base slash primer for the face? I only occasionally do that. Um, when I'm doing a lot of my makeup, I do it for filming. So typically when I film, it's at night. So if I'm filming at night, I'll put foundation, the whole shebang on, all of my makeup, and then I'll go after I'm done filming and wash it off. So it doesn't make sense to use primer in that application. But when I'm going out for the whole day, typically I will use face primer. What is your favorite eyeshadow? All of them. <laughs> this is so hard, guys. Seriously, I'm an eyeshadow junkie. I have like 20 plus eyeshadow palettes. It's nuts. If you guys want to see like a, a makeup collection video, let me know because I have a lot of makeup. But seriously, I cannot choose a favorite. There's too many. I love them all. They're all my favorite. Do you use pencil or liquid eyeliner? I don't use pencil, but I use liquid or gel. How often do you poke your eyes with an eyeliner pencil? Not very often at all because I don't use them. I use liquid or gel. Do you use mineral makeup? No, but I'm not opposed to it. What is your favorite lipstick? This one. Give me Mocha by Wet n Wild. How about lip gloss? Yuck. Why? That's my only answer. What is your favorite blush to use? I'm tempted to just pick the stuff I'm wearing right now. I really like the e.l.f. blush palettes that are $6. I think those are really nice. Do you buy your makeup online? If so, where? Yes, not all of it, but some of it. Ulta, Sephora, Amazon, everywhere. Everywhere. I just buy it all the places. I don't know. Do you like drugstore makeup? Some of it, yes. Some of it is bad, but I do like some of it. Do you ever consider taking makeup classes? Well, I consider taking classes for makeup artistry because I am a freelance makeup artist in Minnesota. I do bridal makeup mostly and then some other little things scattered here and there. So I've considered taking like stage makeup courses or stuff like that so that I could maybe get in to more of the production, movie production type makeup. Um, but I haven't considered like cosmetology school or anything like that because in Minnesota they spend like two days on makeup 
And I mean, I've considered it, but not realistically because it's so little of the time is actually spent on makeup. Mostly I get most of my knowledge from experience and trying things out and messing stuff up on my own face, so yeah. Are you clumsy in putting on makeup? I am clumsy in all things in my life. Name a makeup crime that you hate. I don't know what this means. Opening up sealed packages at the drugstore to test them out and then putting them back on the shelves? I hate that. Do you like colorful shades of makeup or neutral ones? All of the above. I like all makeup. All makeup is my friend. Which celebrity always already <laughs> Which celebrity always has great makeup? A lot of them because they all have professional makeup artists. I mean, I just like Jennifer Lawrence. So let's go with that. Jennifer Lawrence. If you had to leave the house and you only had time to put on one makeup item product, what would you put on? Eyebrows. My eyebrows are like see-through, so. Could you ever leave the house without any makeup on? Yes, I do all the time. Actually, a lot of people assume because I'm on YouTube and I'm a makeup artist, I wear makeup all the time. Totally not the case. I don't wear makeup a lot. I just mostly wear makeup when I'm filming or when I'm meeting clients or I'm going to jobs, so. I spend a lot of time without any makeup on in public. Do you think you look good even without any makeup on? At the risk of sounding vain? Yes. In your opinion, what is the best makeup line? Like a brand? A makeup brand? I really like Lorac if we're going high-end, and I really like Wet n Wild if we're going drugstore. What do you think of makeup? There's a lot of things I think of makeup, and if you want to hear them all, you'll have to subscribe to my channel, but I think it's awesome. So that was all 40 questions in the 40 beauty questions tag. And make sure you go check out Everyday Starlet, Cosmetic Chaos, and also Modesty Jean. I'll have their channels linked down below. And you guys, if you're watching this video, make sure you do this tag video. It's fun. I like it. If you like this tag video, make sure you give it a big huge thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so. If you have not yet entered my giveaway, make sure you jump over to my channel and do that. I'll have it linked in the description box down below. That's pretty much it. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!